Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, as you can see, we're about to head in the woods. Uh, this is Thanksgiving, the weekend before Thanksgiving. So as some of y'all know, I hunt for the whole nine days this week. So I thought we'd go in and try to get something. Uh, I've got, let me pull up this picture here. It was on my trail camera a few days ago. Uh, let's see. First time I've seen something besides hogs in a while. Maybe that's showing up there. So um, I brought quite a quite a few guns this week just to kind of give us a variety and plus I'd like to shoot some of them. Uh, I brought of course the Olapua, my Daniel Defense, my 260s hanging up over there and then I brought this bad boy which is a SCAR, FN SCAR uh, just because I thought it'd be neat to shoot a hog or something with it but now I'm kind of after that deer so I don't know, I guess we'll see. I got plenty of hogs in there too. So we're running a few minutes late and we'll get in the stand, get everything set up, and it gets a little bit more daylight. We'll see you then. Well, no luck this morning, guys. It's uh, at 10.30. Somebody down here, I don't know if they're on our land or not. Uh, they've been shooting, I don't know, probably every 15, 20 seconds. Four or five times in a row, they'll wait 15 minutes and shoot again. I don't know what in the world they're doing. They may just be target practicing or something. Um, so anyway, it's about 10.30. Ain't seen nothing all morning. Uh, I just now seen my first squirrel. And that was it. There's been a lot of shots. But I don't know if people are just messing around or what they're doing. So I'm going to get up. We're going to head out. Uh, cook some breakfast. And I'm going to play with the drone some. Not sure. And then we'll get back in here probably about 2. And see what we can get. I'm, I keep hoping that buck step out because that thing's from what I could tell is a 10 pointer I know it's at least a 10 but I think over here on this eye guard it's got one sticking out but I'm not for sure according to the pictures so yeah well, let's get up go get some food I'm starting all right guys we're back out here in the stand it's about 2 30 and uh, yeah so we're just gonna see so we can see that buck come in here a few days ago right around 4 30 so I'm hoping maybe he'll make a circle and be back tonight. Or a hog or something. Well, you guys, I'm done back out of the woods again. Uh, did not see a thing. Didn't even see a squirrel. Like, I don't know if it was all that chainsawing this morning or all that, you know, all the gunshots and they just kind of, you know, moved out of the area. I don't know. Uh, my uncle didn't see nothing, but my granddad did. He said he seen, he couldn't count the points. Uh, but I'm, we're thinking it was either, I, we're thinking it was at six point. Uh, it may have been an eight. We're not exactly sure, but he said it come within about ten foot of a stand, like his stands here, and it walked about ten feet beside a stand right across the road. Well, his stand ain't a. It's like a one of those bring up blinds, but it's up on a on about five feet, six feet up off the ground. So he couldn't get his gun drawn down enough to, to be able to, to at least get a look at the good at the points on it. The time he had done that is down across the road. So at least somebody seen something. Uh, I guess we're going to. I got my little light on on my truck. I guess we're going to cook some burgers and sit by the fire. Uh, I don't really know what else to do, so I guess this will be a two-day video because I'm feeling like absolutely nothing. So hopefully we'll see something in the morning, and we'll go from there. Uh, yeah, I kept hoping that big one would step out. I think I, yeah, I showed it to y'all this morning on the, uh, the my cell phone. Hopefully, hope one of us gets it anyway. Uh, that'd be that'd be pretty nice. So anyway, we're gonna get some food. Set by the far, and I guess that's it. I may pour me a glass of whiskey, and that's it. So, if I don't talk to y'all tonight, we'll see you first thing in the morning, uh, and see if we can't get us a hog or something. We're back in here again. Um, <clears throat> as y'all seen yesterday, I let those does walk. Um, so today I think I'm going to take one just so I can have some meat. Um, 
we'll kind of wait and play it by ear and see how they act and everything. But more than likely, we'll take one because I've been down here almost all week and yeah, five days so far, six days, six days so far, and I've let everything I've seen walk. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a doe. You know, if they come out, kind of see how they're acting. We'll go from there. What's up, guys? Um, when we come back in, I told you a while ago, and it's like 420. And probably about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, I guess. Hold on one second. About 20 minutes ago, I heard a shot. And I text my uncle and asked if it was him that shot or if it was my, my granddad. And it was my granddad. So I wasn't sure if it was a doe or a hog or what. But that big 10-pointer stepped out. So he got it. He said he had to shoot it left-handed. The way that it come out, he couldn't get a, a shot on him normally. And he got him and dropped him. Um, he said it looks like a couple of the points are broke off, so he's either a 9 or a 10 now, but he used to be bigger than that. I guess he broke them off fighting or, or scraping. So uh, we're going to go down here and see if we can't get him picked up. They said they tried to pick him up, but they weren't able to. So I'm going to go over here and get him. We get him hung up. I'll show him to you guys. Get it? Hold on. Deer took to the processor. Uh, we still have been too lazy to buy a grinder and a uh, vacuum sealer. So, Pop, tell us about it. Still long. <laughs> tell us about it. Hey, just come back. I'm gonna stop that son of a bitch. You're not supposed to cut off. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, Pop, Pop finally got her. We, we figured one of us would get it. Um, and especially it, we figured they'd be moving this morning because they it rained. It rained what? Probably about ten o'clock last night. On then it oh, yeah. they did some heavier, heavy raining. So he, they, he, they finally started moving today. So Pop finally got her, and I think he's gonna have. You are definitely having him mounted. So we'll go show you that whenever he does. And now we're drinking supper. And we even got Comer a burger laid out. And bacon. Because they were trying to put some new hinges or something on Dover's window or something for a seal. But yeah, that's my granddad. Um, I'm really glad he got it. This is the first year I've been able to get him to hunt with me in 10 years. I think it's been at least 10 years. So he finally, I finally been pestering him and pestering him enough to where he went and came hunting with me this weekend or this year. He's hunted pretty much every every weekend I've hunted actually. Yeah. So now he's, he's wanting to get him a hog. I'm glad he got that big one. Get it mounted. And uh, yeah, I mean that's one of the, that's the biggest deer he's ever shot. So it was a 10 pointer. It should have been an 11. He broke two horns off, but one of them was still long enough that you can count it. The other one was completely, one of his eye guards completely broke off flush. 16 and a half inch spread. Uh, one of the times was nine, nine and a half inches long. The other one was eight, eight and three quarters or nine, something like that. Um, no, he's a good sized deer for around here. He's an old deer. Had no back teeth. So, I mean, he, he was a good deer. I'm glad Pop got him. I thought I was going to be hunting hogs all week. That's what I thought. I haven't seen the first hog. Um, he was in my, I come out at 4, Pop got him around 4.15, 4.20. I come out about 4.40 or so to help him load up on the full wheeler. And then I, I cleaned him and stuff for him. And then we took him to the processor. And as we was going out, my cutty back camera sent me a picture of a hog at my stand about 20 to 6. Then things are sneaky. He knew I was over here helping Pop. That's why I came out. But we're going to give it a try again tomorrow. I'm still hunting with that Lapua just because I want to shoot something with it. And I brought all these other guns and still haven't been on hunt with them. But we still got about four more days. So we'll see what else we can get. And we're going to eat our hamburgers. We're going to chill by the fire. And I guess it'll be the end of this video. I'll get up in the morning. We'll start us a new one. And now we're going to get something unless Pop gets him a hog too then we'll have it too so all right well until next time i appreciate it and thank you all for all the support we're at 1901 now 1903 subscribers uh my goal is to try to hit 2000 by january 1st it's just kind of something i've set in my head is what i'm hoping for um so if you do like these kind of videos i know this is kind of a weird one normally i see hogs and deer constantly like yesterday i seen nine at one time i don't know what's going on um 
but anyway, if you do like these kind of videos or whatever, or if you want, you know, give me some suggestions, things you'd like to see or whatever, or something you want me to do, just let me know. I do overlanding and camping and truck builds and just drone stuff and just goofy things, anything like that you want to see, just let me know. Link in the comment or message me privately on Facebook. I'm responding back to everybody. So, yeah, I appreciate it. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. And until next time, y'all have a good one. Thank you.